hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn in this video how you can use the string function in sql server 2022 so let's get started now here i collected all the string function in used in the sql so and I write it down the syntax how you can use it and the marks what is the purpose of using all these function so substring substring function is you can write a command for uh, substring bracket start expression that means is a column name start with how from where you want to start and how much length you want to capture so that means is if you have suppose a name that's called a mark and you want to collect only the starting two or three words that you can capture it from the substring or you can divide it uh, that value into two or uh, into two or three parts like capture the starting words or till the end left and the right so you can capture the wording from uh, the from left side or from the right side i will show you the practical how you can do that len command or the data data length is used to calculate how many digit you are using in your output so how many length is for your the um, table output or oh, sorry the column output length character index is used for the search the value inside your data replace replaces when you are replacing your output uh, with the some other name or the some other value suppose you have a name that's called a mark and you want to change it for a uh, johan so you can change the value upper or the lower so upper value and the lower value you can uh, how you can use it if you have uh, the data in a uh, in a lower case and you want to convert into the upper so that uh, that the wording or the alphabet can be convert into lower or the upper let's let's move it to the lab and we'll understand how we can use all this function in our lab environment so this is my lab here so let's check select start from cl select start from and I have a table that's called employee and let's see what's the data I have here so I have the data the employee ID first name last name and all these things now what I need I need uh, the first name only so the first name that's fine and I'm going to use uh, the lowercase and the uppercase scenario here I write it down all the commands uh, in the sequence so I can show you the practical so let's start this practical for the lower and uh, how you can do that so use the lowercase here L O W E R lower and uh, the bracket start and you can close the bracket and now execute this command so this data all data comes in the lower case and if it is uh, the no column name is showing so you can mark as a the first name and execute it so your first name is changed to uh, all this lower case or if you want to see the original name what it was so select this command let me put it enter here and execute so now you can see in the original name well uh, capital G but after using the lower command it's converted to into a small j and the similar uh, basis you can use the upper key upper command upper command and execute this so now the, the actual name was the James but it converted to all cases in the upper data so that's how you can use the lower and the upper case so let me mark is it done this practical is done and this is done and let's use the left command so left command how you can use it okay so now is the left and the right command let me go here and uh, just use the syntax that will be a left here l e f t left and uh, under this name how many words i need it from this i need uh, one or uh, two three digit so let's execute this so now here you can see in the output only the three word of from the james table it shows only the three words j a m j a k and uh, h o r g a r gavin uh, and uh, daksha 
a lucid look so only the three digit it's calculated from the left side if you want to go collect the value from the right side type it the right and execute so it took the three digit from the right side so digit three digit are like a uh, mes mass jack is only the three word and uh, this calculated uh, from this uh, right side the three words so that's how you can calculate or you can pick up the value from left and right let me go to the table what and all we done it so now this is done and now here this is done and let's uh, check the length how you can calculate the length of your table so write it here l e n len and this syntax is not required execute this so here you can calculate can see the length james name is come five value jack is come uh, three digit and uh, uh, the horny came is the uh, six gavin is a five daxter is a six and luke is a luke is a four digit so that's how you can check your the length here let me type is done and the data length also almost will be the same but in the length it will calculate your uh, um, uh, what you say the space also but it will uh, exclude your spaces so let's execute this now here on uh, there is no space in this value so it will uh, remove the space if it is there and it will calculate all digit whatever it's mentioned in the table so let me go this now it is a replace so replace command how you can use it so let me write the query for the replace command so here what i can do i can write a r e p l a c e replace the column name first and what is the data inside this let's uh, see the i am james i'm going to change the james value to jackie and write it down in a proper manner so now what will happen our output will change from james to jack let's execute this command so now you see it's the our data is having in the table james but the james value replace with the jackie so that's how you can use uh, your uh, replace command and the finally we have a substring how you can use the substring command from uh, uh, from the table so let me just write the substring command s u b s t r i n g substring so you need to mention the column name as the first name and comma the value from where you need to start suppose one and i need only the three digit so let's execute this so it's calculated from 1 2 3 or if you want the four digits so you can put it the four digit here and can see the this is my the original data and this is my the after uh, after using the substring so you have a like jame jack horn gavi and dax so all these are value under the four substring so guys that's how you can use your the substring command and let me go here the replace is done and uh, and we learn about the substring command as well so guys do the practice if you have any questions do let me know i can answer for your questions and you can start learning the sql so i will see you soon in my the next video which coming up with some other interesting video so thank you guys